Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve this nice functional equations given that f of 2x minus 1 over x minus 3 equals x to the power of 2. So where x here is a member of real number. I'll be solving this problem in two different ways and if we have another method of solving this, we can just try and pause this video and drop it in the comment box. Let's start solving it. Let's consider the solutions. From the given questions, we have f of 2x minus 1 divided by x minus 3 equals x to the power of 2. And by this, suppose I let x minus 3 equals to 0. From here, we have x here equals to 3. Anytime we have x equals to 3 from this function is not valid. That is, x must not be equals 3. And how do we know that? Let's try and substitute anywhere we see x here with 3. And we are going to have 2 bracket 3, then minus 1, all divided by 3 minus 3. And this equals, we have 2 times 3, that is 6, minus 1 divided by 0. That is 5 over 0. And 5 over 0 here is not valid. So, any other values that is a member of real number works for this domain. Then, let's solve this by applying substitution method. We are going to start substituting every single value of x here. We are going to replace everything to t. Let's say I let t to be equals 2x minus 1 over x minus 3. And the function becomes f of t equals x to the power of 2. But let's try and look for the value of x from where we let t equals 2x minus 1 divided by 3. And to do that, the first thing is we multiply both sides of this equation by x minus 3. Then we have x minus 3 multiplied by t equals 2x minus 1 over x minus 3. Then multiply by x minus 3. And after obtaining this, we can see that x minus 3 cancelled x minus 3 from here. And this gives us x minus 3 multiplied by t, which we can write it as t bracket x minus 3 equals 2x minus 1. And then, opening this parenthesis with t, t times x, that gives us tx minus t multiplied by 3, that is 3t. Everything equals... Here we have 2x minus 1. And here is x. This is x. Let's bring any time that have x together. And we are going to have tx then minus 2x equals. We have this minus 3x here. We transfer it to other side. And this becomes 3t then minus 1. And next, we factor out x. After we factor out x, in the parentheses, we are going to divide this tx by x, and we have t. Minus, we also divide this one by x, then we have 2. Equals 3t minus 1. So next is, we are going to divide both sides by t minus 2. Divide both sides by t minus 2. And we are going to have... So, by dividing both sides by t minus 2, we have x equals 3t minus 1 divided by t minus 2. So, therefore, we are going to have to replace every single x with 3t minus 1 over t minus 2. But the original equation we have f of t equals x squared, which means we have to get the value of x squared. 
So by replacing x with 3t minus 1 over t minus 2, so we have 3t minus 1 over t minus 2, then all raised to the power of 2. But let's say we have a divided by b, then all raised to the power of n. So this equals a power n divided by b power of n. Assume we apply this rule here. This gives us 3t minus 1 raised to the power of 2 divided by t minus 2 all raised to the power of 2. And the expansion of this, again, if you have a squared, this equals a multiplied by a. So which we can write this thing as 3t minus 1 multiplied by, then we have 3t minus 1 all divided by t minus 2 multiplied by t minus 2. Next, we have this as f of t. So by expanding this out, 3t multiplied by t, 3t, that is 9t squared. 3t multiplied by minus 1, that is minus 3t. Minus 1 multiplied by 3, that is minus 3t. Then minus 1 times minus 1, that is plus 1. Then all divided by t multiplied by 2, that is t squared. t multiplied by minus 2, we have it as minus 2t. Minus 2 multiplied by t, that is minus 2t. And minus 2 times minus 2, we have it as plus 4. And again, we have minus 3t minus 3t. That gives us minus 6t. So this is 90 squared minus 60 plus 1 over t squared minus 40 plus 4. All these are the result of f of t. And again, we need to get f of x. So let's try and replace every single t here with x. We are going to have f of x equals 9x squared minus 6x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 4x plus 4. So this is what we have for the solution, but what is the domain of this function? So note that anytime we have x equals, uh, equals 2 does not satisfy this equation so x must not be equals to that is only when this equation will not valid aside from that we are going to have a valid function thanks for watching and see you in the next video never stop learning bye bye